Hello everyone! Today we are in Monheim. Um, it's an area that I really like. Um, they have an old town and they have a newer kind of town area. And um, where you walk here, um, we're at the Rhine right now. So I'll show you guys a little bit of that and kind of what we do today. All right, so if you see those steps up there, we're gonna go up there. That's called Moenberg? Moenberg. Uh, not sure of the significance other than it being a sightseeing spot. Um, and this area over here is the Studienzentrum, which is, I guess, like an academy or university type of thing. Once you get on the stairs, it doesn't seem so bad. It's not so bad, right? So, <laughs> I'm pretty out of shape, so we'll see how I feel when I get to the top. Well, we made it to the top, and I will say that I am out of breath. Um, there's not much to see up here. There is, looks like a restaurant, but it's not open right now, so, um, but that's okay. I need the exercise, so that's fine. <laughs> This is the restaurant I'm talking about. It actually looks really nice. Kind of wish they were open right now. But that's what it looks like. I am getting hungry, so we may get lunch today while we're out here. But this is basically what we walked up to. The other side is also the same type of restaurant idea. I don't know if it's a restaurant or just a cafe, but yeah. Yep. So now we're going to have to work our way down again. I thought this bird was cute. He has a long orange beak or schnabel. <laughs> so Monheim kind of has this, maybe I would refer to it as a mascot, this, this girl with a goose. <laughs> I'm actually not sure of the significance, so if anybody happens to watch this video and, and knows the history of that, um, please let me know in the comments. Um, I could also look it up, but it's a little bit hard while I'm walking around, so I'd have to wait. But, yeah. And so we're just continuing to walk along the Rhine. It's really beautiful out here. And out there, that yellow field, um, I showed that in a previous video, the same type of uh, uh, plant and that's called uh, rops, which I believe is also made to use, or made to make um, oil and things like that. So if you guys can see the factories, the factory looking things out there, that's actually uh, Leverkusen. So this is a little man-made geyser in the middle of Monheim. Uh, <laughs> it's cute, it feels good actually. There's like a mist spraying over here and that feels good. There's a little ferry over there and a nice looking church right here. Do you think that's an old church or? Huh. Old Pretty cool. Probably relatively old. Yeah. Now we're closer to the church and we're getting closer to the Altstadt, which is like the older, the actual old part of the city. And I really like this part of Monheim. The last time we were here, I just, it's a very charming little city. And I mean most, I guess most German Altstädte are charming. <laughs> they do have a church. <laughs> so my mother-in-law just told me that this is a little church and it's referred to as Capella. And my husband just found out that this church was originally built, right? In, 18, in 1418. Yeah, Marine Capella is the name today. Marine Capella. It's really pretty. I like it. And this sign down here that my mother-in-law just pointed out says An de Capelle, which is like An der Capelle, mm -hmm. right? Um, I'm probably pronouncing that 
incorrectly, but that means at the chapel. So Capel is chapel. Cool. Isn't this so cute? I love this. I love when there's like brick in the streets. And this is called Zum Vater Rhein. To, to Zum Vater Rhein. To the Father Rhein. <laughs> there's a little beer garden. I think uh, Bavaria is mostly known for their beer gardens, but I just love this. I like all like the old stuff, <laughs> old looking stuff. That's, that's what I like. So my mother-in-law just pointed this out um, right here. That's a tradition that, what is the, the tree called again? Uh, yeah, but it's, uh, sorry, it's called a Maibaum. <laughs> so a guy that has a crush or loves a girl, he will plant this tree like in front of her yard, something like that, and then he'll decorate it. And so it's just kind of a tradition that they have. And I think that's really cute. Another thing I love about Germany is how much people take care of their yards. At least most people. They, they just have all these beautiful flowers and plants. So any neighborhood you're walking in, you get to view just beautiful scenery. So all around the city, I've been noticing these little goose prints and that's because of their little mascot, the girl with the the goose. <laughs> so over there is the Rot House, which is the city hall basically of the town. And we are headed to Fannenhof restaurant uh, because I'm hungry. <laughs> so we're about to enter like the main old part of the city. What is this called again? Shellman Turm. Shell? Shellman? Shellman Turm. Shellman is a jester, so if you see that statue right there, that's basically a jester. <laughs> and, yeah. It's cute around here. Der Schelm. <laughs> yeah. There's the jester. Not also not sure of the significance here, but there he is. <laughs> okay, look how adorable this is. Here's the restaurant we're gonna eat at. So see, but I like that. Look at that. That's cool to me. <laughs> Hun, you're about to be in the video, just FYI. <laughs> Yeah, cute place. We'll show you guys around after we eat. So it looks like they kind of have this decorated like a saloon type of thing. And then over here, um, my husband and mother-in-law, they think that this, right, this may have been horse stables. So it's a nice little area that we get to sit out today. And yeah, this is considered their beer garden. So, so pretty. So the food has arrived. Um, I got the Jaeger schnitzel with Rusty and it looks very good. Uh, Rusty is like m one of my favorite things in Germany. It's basically these hash brown looking things. So we're done at the restaurant now and we're just walking through the old town. And I think what we're gonna do is walk down to the Rhine again and take that walking path back to where we parked. So yeah, sorry, I'm not showing the, <laughs> the other part of the city, but um, to be honest, it kind of looks like every normal city <laughs> that you would see in Germany. This is kind of, I think, a little bit more interesting just because it's the older part of the city. So, it's so quiet. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's more interesting on this side. Oh yeah, if I turn around, you guys can keep walking, I'll catch up. So, if you turn around this way, it's kind of a good view of the, um, the Turm there, which is tower in German. So, sorry, I'm not very good at walking backwards. Yeah, it's very pretty around here.
since we're walking around outside, it's a little bit hard for me to avoid people all the time, but I'm doing my best. I just like these kind of older houses too. So just showing more of the city. I'm sorry that I don't know the significance of everything, but it's all very beautiful. I just, I love the way everything looks. That church doesn't look so old. Is it old? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Maybe, probably not as old as the other one we saw. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that one doesn't look very old to me, but I'm not sure. I could be wrong. Could just be renovated or something. Uh. Okay, so I was wrong. It is old. At least the um, the older part over on the other side of the church has been around. It's been a monastery since uh, 1180, and it was rebuilt in 1895. So, it is old. I lied. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys the spire really quick. Um, and I'm actually not religious, but I just, I really appreciate the looks of these churches um, in Germany. And I'm sure across Europe. They just have a lot of history and I just find them to be really interesting. It's really cool to look at. Okay, so I'm actually not 100% sure how old the spire actually is because um, it actually ended up being bombed out during 1945, I believe, so during the Second World War, and then they rebuilt this um, in 1952. It's very calming back here. So now we're leaving the church and we're going to walk back towards the Rhine again. Just wanted to show some of the, what do you call that, like architecture? <laughs> um, and my mother-in-law told me that this black and white structure, um, what was that called again? The black? Fachwerk. 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 And that's um, a, kind of like a regional thing here. Um, they used to use straw and clay for the white area. And then the black was made out of wood. So, and that's how they used to build these uh, little structures. Yeah, and they used a lot of this um, stone, it's shifa, that they put... Right here, this gray? Yeah, so they also used to use this stone, which is called shifa? Shifa. shifa. And so they would attach that to the wall with the straw yeah. and the clay. Every single tile is hand, uh, hand split from a, from a shifa rock. Oh, yeah. very interesting. And also in this part of the area, so we live in the Rhineland, um, you'll see a lot of these white and green buildings too. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm suffering from allergies at the moment, so I'm slowly losing my voice. <laughs> yeah, so anyways. This, this is the huh? old toll um, house. Like where oh, they, this is an old toll house where they would collect money to enter the city, right? Yeah, Something like that? Import and export taxes. Yeah. Oh, import and export taxes. Well, okay. Yeah. No, you can yeah. see the little anchor. It's Let me turn this. Sorry, I'm trying to turn slow. Oh yeah, there's an anchor on the side. Yeah, that's really neat. <laughs> okay, real quick, I found one of those dangerous um, playgrounds I was talking about. That just looks like a death contraption to me. <laughs> so we're making our way still back to the car. Slowly. Oh, there's like a little pirate ship thing out there. Or it looks like a pirate ship. <laughs> it's so quiet. <laughs> Always quiet. Peaceful. So there's Zumfata Rhein again. So we kind of just did a little bit of circle back and just using the path now. I'm also not sure what the structure is for, but it definitely stands out here as you're walking along the path. I don't want to run into anybody. <laughs> it's just art. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe just an art piece. All right, so we're finally back home from Monheim. Um, that was a fun little visit. We didn't do too, too much, but we did get something to eat and kind of walked around and that was fun. Um, if you made it this far, please tell me, have you ever visited Monheim? Do you like it? Do you live there? <laughs> um, anything, just comment anything. Um, and thank you so much for watching if you did. And I really, really hope to see you guys next time. Bye.